This is Pat Bamber here for PSB Sports about the Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko 2 press conference here today in London. As you can see with me, I'm joined by promoter Mick Hennessy from Hennessy Sports. How are you, Mick? Very well, Pav. Good to see you. Always great to see you as well, Mick. Always great. Um, Mick, firstly, obviously, we are here for the huge blockbuster fight in Manchester Arena. Um, obviously, we know why Tyson's not here, but can you just tell the fans as to why he didn't turn up? Yeah, he had a bit of a nightmare journey. Um, left early this morning, and um, he... First of all, was encountering terrible traffic, and uh, then um, the person who was bringing him down, his car, his car broke down. So um, just had to. Uh, it was such a nightmare of a day. He just had to abandon the day really and leave me and Peter to get on with it. Mick, obviously, I want to get all the uh, controversial stuff, as they say, out out of the way now, so we can focus on the the fight. But obviously, the, the fans are, are wondering in general with the situation with UCAD. I know you guys touched upon it there briefly at the press conference. I know you can't say too much due to legal reasons, but is, is everything okay at the moment, and will that be sorted soon? Everything's good. There was a ruling on Friday. Uh, the head of the tri tribunal, Mr. Flint, um, gave the all clear for the fight to happen. So, fight's coming ahead, no problem. Some of you touched upon in the press conference is that you said that a lot will come out as a result of this hearing. So are you hoping the fans will get to hear the truth and obviously Team Furies will get to hear the truth as well? Um, what I will say, the truth will definitely come out. You know, Tyson and Huey are completely innocent. The truth will come out. And, um, you know, as far as I'm concerned, me talking right now, you know, a lot of people have already been caught out lying and that will come out. Mick, obviously ab about the fight itself... Tyson Fury pulled off an absolutely fantastic victory. 28th of November of last year, became the unified heavyweight champion in the world. We know now that Vladimir, has even, he's even said it in numerous press conferences, he's going to have to do something different in the fight. He's going to have to let his hands go. What are Team Fury and yourselves expecting this time around? We're expecting uh, an absolute possessed Vladimir Klitschko. He wants this, he wants it bad. We thought he'd retire, you know, because he, he got beat clearly and he got outclassed by an absolute, unique, brilliant, sensational heavyweight champion. And um, we thought he'd retire, but he wants this bad. You can see, he really wants it bad, and he's going to come for it, and it's going to be a different fight, no question. Talk to you a bit about your affiliation now with Box Nation, and obviously how we spoke to George Warren earlier, and the, the, it's great the Box Nation box office has, has, has come out now as well. That's going to make the platform available to 12 million Sky customers. Yeah. Great financial revenue for, for both fighters and the teams. So how is everything going on with Frank Warren, Box Nation? It seems like a real um, good group at the moment, everyone together. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I mean, you know, congratulations to them getting the red button through. That's a, that's a game changer, a serious game changer. And they deserve it. They've, they've gone through brick walls. They've worked hard. They put their money where their mouth is. Um, and, uh, yeah, congratulations to both Frank and Bill. Um, really excited. As I said, there needs to be competition in this business. And there's... Uh, there's too, many, there's too many broadcasters, when they get in a position of power, they try to screw people to the canvas. And that's not good. That's, that's, you know, that's, that's not what should be done. So, you know, fair play. The relationship's great with us. We're working well together. And uh, long may it continue. Also, Mick, uh, what's the general update on, on the whole stable? You've got, obviously, Huey Fury, Kid Galahad, so on and so forth. You know, your, your stable at the moment, if you think about it, is it full of young fighters with Tyson. Huey ne nearly going there. So how, what's the update on the whole stable? Well, there's, there's going to be a lot come out over the, the next couple of months. There's, there's some really, really exciting things happening with Hennessy Sports, which I can't go into detail at the moment. Well, but uh, I, can't, I, can't, <laughs> I can't. There's some very, very exciting things going on with us. And uh, over the next couple of months, you'll, you'll, you'll see it unfold. Definitely. Mick, I want to say thank you so much for talking to us today. I wish you all the best for the fight, and hopefully we can definitely see you soon.